Alright, we're ready. We're here, we're on set, we're fucking ready. We're lit. Where are your taste buds, actually? We are. What's up, guys? Mike Gato mixing. I'm Shy Infinite. And today, and today, 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 today we today, have today. the other half of my in the cut dynamic duo situation, lituation, you know what I'm saying, from the West Coast. True OG in the game. Not King Louis! Louis! Louis, motherfucking King. Yeah! Jaman! Louis! Jaman! Family affair. What's up with y'all? It's a family affair. Man, we yeah. just really excited to have you on. It's sort of like yeah. an omen, bro. Like, we talked about, like, the vision of the podcast and, like, who we could have on. And it was, like, Louis King. You know what I'm saying? Laven Kali. We're about to represent Talking to the, you, bro. the West. You know what I'm saying? That's Trey. Fine. We had him on. You know what I mean? So yeah. just to build that community in the spotlight, like our friends. That's you know real. what I'm saying? And just people that we but that we enjoy like self medicating with, smoking weed with. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I think this he is the first. He always comes through with that pack. This is the first episode <laughs> that we, I think we started smoking. Like we just finished the minties. Um, so, you know, we What's had to get right. Minties? What's up? Yo, what I'm into yet. funny story. You need another one? Yeah, okay. Let's hey, start rolling another one, I funny guess. Funny story. Louis actually introduced me to Mentees. This is true. He put me on game. This is true. Uh, I think you rolled it. I think you rolled it so good that that's where I started quoting it as like the, you know oh, the backwood the, the, the backwood of, yeah. the backwood of him. You know what I'm the saying? The backwood king said that, you know, it was yeah. equivalent. Yeah. So that's that's pretty good because yeah. he don't smoke nothing. I'll try to pass him a joint. Every time he just disrespect, just like nah, I'm good. Yeah. fuck you. I'm better than you. Straight up on the hint, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I respect it because now I get to be like, nah, get out of here with that backwood. Yeah, I don't need that. I'm gonna roll minties. Mm-hmm. That mint leaf. The mint, you know, it just it gets you feeling like I like to be tricked. I like okay. to be tricked. You know, I told you how it was for me. You know, had the pregnancy popping off in the crib. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. No tobacco, <laughs> no tobacco. Okay. Tobacco. You know what I'm baby. saying? I'm trying to, it's cold, it's winter, I'm trying to smoke. You know what I mean? So, what do yeah. I do? That is the true. The minties. Go you to know, the I'm, minties. I'm looking, I'm trying to find something you do that have can to be. quench my thirst. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not being fulfilled upon retrieving the <laughs> mock blunts. So, then one day, I, I stumbled across the minties yeah. and it did it for me. It did it. It did it for Damn. me. It set it off. Hemp it set is that it twist. You know what I'm saying? Man, Lewis King has been on a beautiful grind. Can you talk about that? Yes, sir. That beautiful grind. Man, shouts to Shy. How many songs did you drop last year? Uh, we dropped we drop over 156. Uh, the beautiful grind. Was- 150. Six. Yes, sir. Take that in for a second. Mm-hmm. You know. That's more than some people will drop in their whole career. Straight it was, up. It's a blessing. It's That's a blessing. crazy. For real, it was a blessing to make that much music, you know. What's this technique? You just ripped that off? Oh, yeah. I don't I'm, know about that. I'm keeping it. I keep it smooth out here. I'm going to do. I'm going to maximize the <laughs> tree. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? The skill. All right. You know. So 156 songs. Um, All the way up to the current releases, Too Much. Yeah. Flavin. Yeah. Breakthrough. Yeah. Featuring Warren Brew. Yeah. Pain Away. Featuring Camilla Recio. Uh, Recio, right? yeah. Recio and yep. Brother Ali. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Ray actually just hit me right now. He posted that. Uh, yes. That. Uh, limousines and Grey Poupon. Limousines yes. and Grey And I said, yeah. yeah. If y'all, in case y'all don't know the song, is Limousines and Limousines and Grey Poupon. Yeah. And uh, me, Shy, Infinite. Yeah. That right there is a Cerberus. That's a three-headed monster right there. You know what you I'm know, saying? Yeah. We, you know, <laughs> Ray Wright from Warren Brew. Yeah. My guy. You know what I'm saying? So we finna get the. Uh, he said we we gotta run that video too. Yeah. Please, we so definitely need to. That's Please. Shouts to that. Go check that out in case y'all. Limousines and Grateful Pong. Never heard of that one. Mm-hmm. Classic. Yes. Instant classic times, man. Yes. Actually, whenever we link up, I, I would encourage every like rapper that that would that like wants to work with me to follow the Louis route, which is to pull up to the studio with hella weed <laughs> and don't and don't say nothing. Just let the song be dope, man, and let it happen. Don't don't force it. You feel me? Don't force yeah. it, bro. Half the time, you know, we're you just know sitting here chilling, working on something. Shaw wakes up from a weed nap, um, and he, <laughs> and he hits, starts hitting some melody, and like yeah. we're like, "Oh, yeah, 
So okay. This is this is the true unedited like, version right here. I didn't I didn't necessarily want the uh, weed app to be to be broadcast, but that, I mean that's real. That's real. <laughs> I feel like every almost everyone here has seen he me take a DMX, take a weed know? nap. Yeah. The DMX. Yeah. Uh, what's that? What's that? The OG DMX story where he walks in the booth he and just, like he just supposedly <laughs> would go to sleep for like almost like six hours in the studio sometimes and yeah. just wake up and be like, all right, I'm ready. Louis, like what's everyone your, would be like passed out. What's your like, ritual while you recording or before you record? Man, you know we we rolling up. We just Let's get right. Here. I guess we 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 rolling up, and uh, I think, man, we just always good vibes. You mm-hmm. feel me? You know, good vibes. You know, I like I working always with squad. That's you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. my people. So people that you're comfortable with. Yeah, and... it's good. It's, it's good vibes. I mean, whatever. You know what I mean? We we always going make some good music if yeah. we if we feeling good Indeed. if we if yeah. we you know if we in the right music making state of mind and like you said it just it just make itself and you know so what your I'm mind your mind is kind of like the start to everything like if your mind isn't isn't is if there's not clarity there it's like you're gonna struggle in the studio yeah yeah i mean and even if you're even if you necessarily having a a bad day or something like that yeah. that's not necessarily a bad thing yeah for being Different in energy. a studio but you know you come with the with in an environment that you know you could be creative yeah. and you know that's what I love about all the studios you know we going through yeah. you know being at Mike's and shouts to House of Vive in the building we yeah. out there always <laughs> turn you know what I mean studio audiences yeah House and, you know here. and working with great great people that's the number one it's like Definitely. I'm having fun because I'm always with good people you know what I mean that I respect their music yeah. mind and and just you know we. We actually just can we can have a good time because we enjoy our company. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep. Don't force it, bro. Again, don't you force it. I'm saying that's key. That's the key to I all just, music. I just ask because I know like a lot of people don't know that you used to play football. Yes. And sir. I know that's like a very like routine thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to get into it to like, or you have yeah. to like just practice and know the plays and shit like that. So it's like a very like routine routine thing that you got to get into to like really have a flow with it. Oh yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? repetition so i was just i was just wondering musically if it was like the same shit but yeah it's a musically yeah it's definitely it's similar but i guess the the difference is i always want to do music when i'm enjoying it in terms of making the music mm-hmm. right so like when you're when i'm in a zone where i'm like okay I'm enjoying writing this because I'm getting something out. But when I'm like, oh, I'm tired, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? You're not giving it, your all. You know, you're just kind of like in there. You know, yeah. you might wake up at 4.30 in the morning to to write. Like, some people might do that. Like, yeah. I don't know. That might, that might yeah, be my thing. Yeah, I mean, if you have a job, you know, you got to yeah. wake up before and yeah, do it. Yeah, you might, you know, or you might not. But whatever you, whatever you do, whatever fine way that works for you, yeah. as long as you do you doing the music and you're not letting the music do you dirty. You feel yeah, what I'm no, saying? I feel, so I feel I like know. I skipped over a little bit though. Can you tell the people like where you used to where you used to play football? Yeah, man. I used to play at Villanova mm-hmm. and uh we won a national championship over there. Talk that and no. um I was a running back Shit. man and it, you know it's it's Louis definitely was fast. I saw the highlight reel, I was like Woo. That's that. That's that story that you fast. tell. That's that story saying. that you tell a bad girl father <laughs> when you dating her. You be like, you know, I won a championship over at Villanova. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, you know, it's, it's good times. It's just, just something that you need to know, seeing as you about to be my father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> just is what it is. Yeah, you know, man. I'm a real one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, run you down too. Yeah, running back. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's definitely. I think work ethic is just the same. The same as football or anything. Yeah. The the work that you put into it. You know, for me, I just think it's a blessing that, you know, I can love to do it and be around people and we, we all love doing it, actually. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it just don't get, it don't get old. It don't run yeah. out. You know, you do 150 songs and you like, man, I, I, what do you want to do today? Man, I just want to make some fucking music. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like, always, it's always... I'm an artist, artist, so I'm, I draw inspiration from other artists. So as long as like I consider some shit out that's dope and it really like resonates with me, I'm gonna have that inclination to want to do the same shit. Yeah. It's also like when you dedicate your life to something, like you know that there's always more to learn and there's always more to like mm. churn out. You know, what I'm it's saying? just how you express yes. yourself too, man. Yeah. Like you gotta. Yeah, man. It's it's a process and it's all you know. 
some people have to do so much, you know what I mean, to to even get one song. So yeah. trust is a blessing, you feel what I'm saying? And, and for some me, people dealing with real life and just can't make music. Yeah. That's what's that's, crazy. That's, like that yeah. opportunity to be able to make the shit like every day. One hundred. Got to. You know? And then it's also the mental decision to say, you know, fuck that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make time to do this and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna you know, sacrifice. You feel what I'm saying? Did you have a moment where like that that switch turned on for you? Like, well, yeah, like a like a fuck that moment. I'm just going 100 percent like pursue my craft and artistry. I think I always have that moment. Okay. You feel what mm -hmm. I mean? Okay. I always that moment comes comes and goes. I mean, it's it's just like anytime I get hyped up, it's a fuck that moment. Like yeah. fuck that man. I'm a, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, and I'm definitely the type that's like. Y'all that know me that know I'm like I'm a talk by I'm a talk uh You see no obstacles. I, I'm but I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a coach myself up about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In my mind I'm coaching myself. Yeah, you I feel, feel what I'm saying? So anyway, man, I'm just saying like for me, a lot of shit last year was like, okay, what why can't you do 156 songs mm. in as, as far as like the money to do it, the time. Yeah. Will it, you know, can you write it? Can you afford to do it? Can yeah. you, is it a waste? You know, will, can you even make it happen? Mm -hmm. And then it was like, when I really started asking myself the questions, you know, it just began a symbol of like breaking boundaries. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and at the end of the day, it's like you go to the gym every day, you work out in the gym every day. Yeah. You putting in that work, you feel me? So it's like, for me, that's where the football shit comes from. It's like, you know. I feel like to me that's my Kobe go shooting the fucking free throws, mm. you know, every day and shoot a hundred thousand free throws and motherfuckers like me and that dude is a psychopath because he's <laughs> just like doing this crazy, you know, behavior. But it's like nah, he believes in that shit, and I'm and I'm here for the purpose of, you know, a positive change in the world. I believe in what I'm doing and yeah. you know I stand behind what I'm here to do and so. That's really why, for me, I'm always having these moments that I'm like, man, I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I got to, you know, suck up whatever's going on and make it happen. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. That's one thing that, like, I, I, like, the energy I always get from you, no matter what, is just, like, positivity. Like, that's why I'm, like, I always love sessioning with you. It's the same thing. It's vibes. They're, like, they just rub off. You like, You walk in, you're positive, you're in a good mood. Yeah, it's like, man. You kind of, you know, spread that to everybody. Yeah, and that's Bless a gift. You, man. Thank you, all, man. One thing you and I have in common is that, like, from a from a parental standpoint, um, my parents are musicians. Yes. So, I feel like I feel like you and you and I specifically like have a leg up with with just having music always being mm. naturally uh, in in your you know what I'm saying just naturally having an ear. Um, talk about can you talk about your dad a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. My my dad. His name is Ayo Adeyemi. Mm -hmm. He was uh, from a group called Drums of Passion with a drummer called Baba Olatunji, who is the godfather of African music in the country. So they were the actually the first Africans in America to ever have a record deal, and they were signed to Columbia. And uh, I think James Brown's first major show at the Apollo was opening for them in Harlem. So they was like These some old Will Chamberlain games. stats. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> I mean, Baba was like psh, drumming with Martin Luther King mm -hmm. in in at Morehouse in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So uh, they came from Nigeria, Lagos, and uh, shit. You know, I've been playing always yeah. in my dad's band since I was a child, and my mom was the manager and the artist in the band mm -hmm. and singer, and just like a creative kind of genius to yeah. put that shit together and that's a legacy yeah man. that's where a lot of the purpose like you were speaking about earlier comes from i read a quote the other day that was just like if you don't know like exactly where you come from it's kind of hard for you to put it together because you have you have no strong intention on, on like what you're doing you you probably just stop you know what i'm saying like the mo the moment you were faced with adversity you probably just quit because you don't you don't know and understand that like i'm i'm sort of meant to do this why so i was called to the stage yeah, you know what I mean. Hell yeah, man, that's real, bro. I mean, it's a blessing, like, and I mean, even, even too, just knowing, like, where my dad comes from, and mm -hmm. 
just I went to Africa to South Africa but really Nigeria I want to go to and just really explore that and yeah. kind of get there and explore that uh yeah. that whole family out there so yeah. it's, it's a it's definitely a uh yeah. you know a big part of my life is is music always mm-hmm. so I feel you on that bro also like also I've learned that like having having people close to you that are big in music it helps you to see everyone else in music as a regular person mm-hmm. you know what I mean and, and it just yeah. helps you to make genuine connections I feel like you you have a you have a gift for that as well oh, like we we'll see you on the gram <laughs> like it's just like yeah. you know what I'm saying Erica Badu's just like flicked up with him but it's yeah. like a yeah. comfortable unforced like yeah. photo you get what I'm saying like oh, it's not yeah, like a man. ran down like oh shit like can I get you know what I'm saying no yeah Erica's you're like, the damn. Coolest, man. you know <laughs> and it's not even a question cause it's just yeah. like well Shit, a few weeks ago he, took, he did the same shit with Andre Three. You know what I'm saying? I was like, whoa. Well. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a uh, Louis gets around. Louis, yeah, Louis <laughs> around the world. I'm working, brother. You world know? traveler, it's man. A blessing, man. Mm-hmm. It's been a blessing. able to see a lot of the world. Oh yeah, man. What's it's, your favorite spot you've been to? My favorite spot. I guess I don't have a favorite, but I have a lot of ones that I'm partial to. You mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah. I rock with. Uh, I rock with Amsterdam. I rock yeah, with uh, Cape Town. Okay. Um, and Maso Bay is really cool. Um, sh- shit, I like. I like. Uh, man, Japan is dope. You, you still got a lot saying? more places to go, right? Yeah. You doing tour management right now? Tour management as well. Yeah, yeah. DJ performing. Anybody you want to shout out? Mm-hmm. Shouts, shouts, my my man Earl Sweatshirt. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, oh, yeah. Terry, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> off top, uh, you know, shouts, shouts, how survive off top? They yeah. in the building. You know what I'm saying? Big Cuz, Brew, Big Brew. You know what I'm saying? Bread in the spot. You know, uh, you know, it's a uh, H A J R in the building. You know what I'm saying, I'm <laughs> yeah. shouting out squad. You know, Alec Everybody, in the building. Yeah, you feel me? Like I really. My boy make... just stepped in. F T B G R. Fuck that bitch. Get rich. You yes, know? sir. Yeah. Shout out to my niggas. <laughs> you know, because that's who I really be with. This is who I really be making it's music squad, with. Man. It's not yeah. like we just doing a podcast. It's like this really is squad. So it's a family thing. I definitely want to move on to a segment out. real quick though. Yeah, um, let's do it. Can we? Can we? Uh, I want to bring in my raps and rap segment from season one. Okay. Uh, you the first person to break it out on season two. Okay. Um, describe a blunt rap that changed your life, like you know, what I'm saying like the flavor and like mm. what it was, the brand, okay. um, and talk about a rap verse that changed your life as well. Oh, okay. If you need, if you need some time, I can go. Okay, you go first. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, I don't really smoke switches, but like when I first started smoking weed, um, I remember. I don't smoke switches now, but when I first started smoking weed because they were easy to roll mm-hmm. and convenient, uh, I smoked a lot of them. But I always wanted to like go in like the smoke shop and like find like some rare shit, like shit that nobody was smoking. Like I, I would never smoke like a regular, like straight out the 7-Eleven, like grape, like, you know what I mean? Um, so one time I came across a, dul- a Dulce de Leche Swisher. Oh, wow. And I was smoking some cat piss with that too. <laughs> oh, you know man. what I'm saying? So kids go experiment with that you know what i mean i'm yeah, growing up we, we doing we doing minties and uh i think yeah, i minties. tried that one uh, <laughs> i definitely tried the dolce actually yeah that shit is that's a rich a rich blunt yeah a rap a rap verse that changed my life um uh, probably i probably already said it on here but like upgrade you three no way you know what i'm saying i always always reference that verse uh i wasn't even smoking but he said i'm so high i could eat a star and that was like the first time that I was like, oh, you could use your mind to like impress niggas on the block. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm real about to like write like one of the hottest 16s ever. And I did. Back then, I thought it was the hottest 16 ever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, bro. That's Talk your crazy. shit. Oh, that's crazy. You got nah, some shit? I fuck with that. Uh, that, that, that verse is fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, that upgrades you. Uh, I guess, like, I, I rock with the Minties right now. I'm rocking with the, I'm rocking with the Fontas. You know what I'm saying? But I guess just like on some historical shit, definitely okay. the great switch. Or, or no, I'm gonna go with the Peach Optimos. Yeah, you feel me? Because yeah, the Peach yeah. Optimo just was a time. It had it. It had its own time. You feel what I'm saying? There was a time for the Peach Optimo. It was like 
it was like Wayne type okay, shit. Studio you know what audience can chime in if y'all got some moments with you the know, future. You know, you know that out the ball like you know you get to a fade or some or like when niggas first really started coming with the blunts like oh don't you come with some other than a peach optimo or a grape swiss niggas that send you right back i was wilding back in the day you know? yeah same i think we all were fucking white owls white uh white grape white owl i was if, if it was, was one thing i there. could tell my younger self i'd be like boy <laughs> quit smoking all that chemical don't you smoke no damn white yeah. owl <laughs> yeah that shit fucked me up no shots out to white owls bro yeah that's what I grew up on. That's what almost. You I'm know, sorry if got I'm offending me, the white. I'm not sorry if I'm offending the white out community. You're offending the East Coast probably because they're just <laughs> popping over there. But yeah, yeah. No, we don't do that here. It just goes bad. Tobacco even, free. Even when you're rolling it, it's bad. It's bad. I'm no HOV put me on a. They put me on the Fontas though. I'm. I'm like. I'm slowly transitioning. Like yeah, I mean it's into more natural into the, you know, the a whole, little the more of those leaf. less swisher more of those. But uh, I guess verse, there's a lot of verses, I guess, like, just off top. One that was dope was, like, uh, that that outcast Babylon, um, mm. that, you know what I'm saying, uh, the Andre joint. It was a vibe. And, 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 and Big Boy's verse was fire on that one, too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I've never slept on Big Boy. But, uh, man, Not yeah, Andre had a verse up in there that was crazy on that shit. I yeah. was like, man, that shit was, it was just. It through. had to be a vibe, like, when it came out, too. Like, I was probably man. younger, so I probably couldn't really, like, fathom the. Me, oh, me, too. Okay. I, I came on, I, I heard it mad late. Like, I probably heard, you know, I heard, like, all the the newer outcast stuff growing up, like the uh, Stanconia, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that was what I was on, the Stanconia, but then later. In height, like then I then I got put on the uh, the Babylon, you know what I'm saying, all that other stuff, um, the a- AT aliens and uh, you know what I'm yeah. saying, all that, and I was like, man, this shit is crazy. Yeah. And then he was just, if you, I mean, if you love hip hop, you gonna crate dig. I think it's so crazy man. that like the new NBA draft class, like they were asking him questions about like Destiny's Child and Outkast and shit like that, and they couldn't they couldn't name him. What? Didn't know who they, That's crazy. But, they, but they were also they were they, also they like Andre, born though. like two thousand though. So. I did see that shit. It's kind of like everyone's gonna be ah. like, oh, that DJ Khaled song. That's the that's the just, Outkast I, song, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. That's crazy. I'm Fuck just surprised that any nigga that's like taller than me and like don't know like Outkast. You know, I'm kind of offended too. Like it's sad. You gotta know who Outkast is. Yeah. You it's fucking sad. Shit was just unorthodox. It would be like unorthodox lyrical verses, like yeah. like on some E40 shit, like. You know what I mean? Yeah. E forty two. Oh yeah, E forty. He hear like that. He hear like that. He hear like that. That shit was crazy. <laughs> e forty. Shout to Forge Water. Ooh. Man, uh, I never, I never premiered this question on the podcast either because I never really felt comfortable with asking anyone else. But I know you perform um, a lot of places around around the globe as well. Can you talk about? Uh, your best performance and i.e. like maybe even your worst performance or like not so good one you okay know what I'm okay oh that's funny yeah. uh man let's see that's that's funny like the best like my favorite one you mean type shit? yeah it could be like your okay. favorite vibe like it could be depending on crowd reception um, how you personally felt you did man that's like a time like you probably got some bread or something or, that's a good one uh, or some shit. The the LA show at the Novo this year was pretty fire. The uh, the Novo show on the yeah. Earl Sweatshirt Lighted Up tour. That was fire. That was a dope <laughs> show because we was on tour for a while and we was Came coming back to home. get back home and it was like the family was there, so that was really tight. Hell yeah. Um, and then wor- like worst funniest like probably. I had one sh- show way back in Philadelphia. It was like packed out in the back, and I think Soldier B was there that weekend. And I was on stage on the side of the stage, way there was a DJ before me, right before me, and I'm like waiting. And there, was a, <laughs> there was a girl on the stage, and like somehow. I was just on the side stage and I somehow slipped 
Oh, and shit. lost my foot and backed up like off the stage, like and fell off the stage and like Fuck. and like on the right side of me was like a like a little handle <laughs> handle something. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I tried, to, there, I tried to grab it. I tried to grab it the right side and the left side. And this girl tried to grab me. And I grabbed and I grabbed, thinking like, oh, she's about to pull me. And I straight fell. And she fell and landed on top of me and knocked the wind out of me. Damn. And I looked like, damn. Because I did. Everyone about to be gassing at me. And I looked to the side and just no one at all was watching. No one saw shit. No one seen nothing. They was all watching the, the front stage. It's those times Look. where you fall over and you're like, you just look around to see if anyone saw you. And you're just like. The wind was knocked out of me. Ain't nobody up. saw that. Damn, shit. that that shit was comedy. I was I was laughing. Damn. So that was like <laughs> mid performance, or is this like? No, that was before the performance. Okay, so right, it was before, right before. Right before. I'm on deck. I'm about to go. And up then and like, then you just kind of like three minutes. Got like, your breath back and. I got back, walked up all that shit. Like the yeah. girl was fine. <laughs> the girl was fine because she fell on top of me, like right on my side, like okay. rib, like up. So you saved her life. But nah, I, she, she I pulled her, her down low key. Like she thought, she thought she could grab me, and I just pulled her down. Like uh, I thought she could grab life. me too, but. Thought this shit was it, safe. It was funny to her, but really my <laughs> wind was knocked out. I was trying to act like I was straight. <laughs> but yeah, yeah man. I mean, so then the performance went well. The performance or? actually went well, like, but it was just funny. Like I always remember that. Like that shit was the the funniest shit that could have been, that wasn't as bad because no one saw. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. so, happens to the best of us. Oh yeah. Speaking of falling off things, you know, um, we're gonna get real high for a second. And take a smoke break. Fall out of these chairs. Take a little smoke break. Indeed. Yeah, um, we definitely gotta do our first dab. Some, we need to do the dab yet. Yeah, we're gonna oh, hear some shit. stuff about some some people. You know, some, yeah. uh, some some nice people who send us some things. Yeah, yeah. I actually think this is a uh, maybe a great time to give a shout out to our sponsors, Minties. Yeah, I mean we got a lot of stuff on the table here. You know, you know what I mean? um, we've been provided some some fun things. Hold to on, let, play let me with. do let me do the readout for Minties, bro. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Go ahead go ahead. Minties. The organic mint blunt wrap that's redefining smoking. Minties exist to make organic herbal wraps as they should be. An organically grown mint leaf wrap that is durable, thin, and always burns slow. 100%! Can you do it looking at the camera? There we go. From, <laughs> from the mint leaves and their wraps to their environment-friendly packaging. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. They set out to be a new start alternative over, start over, start over, for start passionate over. smokers. Minties was kind enough to send us some of their mint wraps, so we would like to thank them from all of us at Taste Buzz for supporting our show. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have the uh, the person that you know introduced us to Minties, so it's only right that www.minties.com. Uh, Minties wraps get, get rid of the tobacco. Be healthy. Yeah, yeah. Mint leaves gets you higher. Smells good. Tastes good. Chill. Indeed. Um, besides that, let's take a dab <laughs> while we're on the smoke break. Indeed, I'm going to take off the phones. Um, we also have some rigs from um, some other people. We got Hemper, a little Hemper rig. And we got our MJ Arsenal rig, which is not here. I don't know what that means. What did that mean, Adam? What was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 that's what we're here for. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah! I'm telling you, dab champ over here, dab champ. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> yeah, Shaw's next. <laughs> that's some bullshit. I ain't doing that much. <laughs> I don't know how much that was. <laughs> Especially if it's low temp like that. Let me uh, let me tell you something out there. You know what I'm saying? Know your limits. No no know your limits. <laughs> off off camera I'm a different dude. Yeah. On what, camera I'm not What is no. this a pond chest? <laughs> it's the cap. I don't have nothing to prove to y'all. It's the cap, so basically that should look like a dreidel. dreidel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. <laughs> So it basically, like no, you you heat it up and then you like let it cool down top and then you just quotes. drop the wax in there, <laughs> and then once it's in there, you pop the top on. Yeah. And uh, that shit was crazy. Blast off. You know, I felt like I was trapped inside. <laughs> Your lungs were trapped inside something. I don't know. Fuck. Let me out. Let me out. Stop in the air. I can't breathe. <laughs> 
Uh, well, that's that's kind of like what dabbing. That's the best part about dabbing. You know, you get so fucking high. We did three dabs in a row last night with all three rigs. That's crucial. That's we not mine, bro. That's up. a lot. That's not mine. They both went to sleep. That's wild, dude. That's knockout punch. I didn't punch. give you anything yet. This is nothing. I'm... <laughs> this is, is that nothing. cool? <laughs> This is my director. <laughs> All over there in the cut. Like, yeah, give it to him. Give it to him. <laughs> give it to him. <laughs> Chill over there, Fuck. dude. <laughs> Chill with all that. You want to make sure I say www.mentiesraps.com and shit. www. Can you pronounce it, pr- pronunciate the W's just like a little more? No. I can't process like what you're saying right now only because I know it's about to happen. And... I'm sort of resenting ever being friends with you, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> like, you, you, this is, yeah, I just feel set up. All over this? I yeah, feel, this is what I've been up. planning the whole time since it's, the day we met. Ah. Uh, All right. right. You're stupid. Here you go. 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 <laughs> I got it. He knows how to do it. My own shit. Take the cap. I don't know how to do it. So you drop it in there. Uh, you could, get, right? No, hang on. That I'm about cap to say. was crazy. Nah. Give it like 20 seconds. Adam's next. <laughs> Good luck with that suffocation. Cap. We're going to line up all six dab rigs <laughs> later. We're all oh, hold on. I, I wish there was a camera for Adam's we're face right now. Adam was just over there. No, no we're not. Mad as no, shit. No, 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 no. What we're not going to do is act irresponsibly. <laughs> Doing drugs on camera. <laughs> should be, I should be, I should be good now, right? They're not drugs. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. I got high again. I forgot. There you go. Drop it off. Put the cap on that hoe. It's out of there. It's out of there. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Oh shit. That's that real low temp. Super terpy. Terpy, 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 terpy. <laughs> This is a desperation blunt. This is the rest of the. <laughs> this is the rest of the tobacco. I want to see you roll something with that. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like this big. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I got it. You might as well just break it up and put it in the minties. <laughs> I've done that before. I, did I know. That. I did that shit in Europe. Yeah, that's what they do in Europe. It's Europe. OG shit all season. Shy Infinite. You know what I'm saying? How you feeling, Shy? Blast yeah. off. How you guys feeling? All right. I'm feeling good, man. Yes, we are back. Thank you again to Minty's. We are feeling just the way we should. <laughs> <laughs> we just got that shit, so pardon yeah. me. So, if the last... <laughs> the last few minutes of this podcast are just coughs and jokes. Possibly. You know what I'm saying? Since we're since we just smoked a lot of weed, we're rolling up more weed. Um, we smoke a lot of weed. It gets <laughs> us through our day. Um, weed's a part of our our, create, our creative process. Everything. However many times we can say weed and, and like fast <laughs> you about to say that shit. Weed, 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 Be weed. Um, we'd like to welcome you to the Taste Buds Podcast. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're starting it from the top. Yeah, we'd like to welcome you, Lewis. Thank you for coming on, dude. I'm glad to <laughs> be here. Yeah, time man. lapse. <laughs> um, I think his the blunt counter is is uh is pretty high. I don't know what it would be, but yo Trey Trey holds the record for most blunts smoked on the podcast with oh. I think about smoke. We smoked at least seven. It was seven or oh, eight. Oh, seven. Yeah. So it's so easy. what are we? How many are we in? Three, four. Uh, I rolled how many two minties. You rolled ah. one, two. I don't know. We're like four or five. It's. We're getting there. Six, seven. Dabs and shit. Eight, I was about to ten. say. We, get, we'll, we'll smoke a couple more. We, we might get a little. We, we all did a round. We do what we got to do to get to, to the record. You we know all did a round of dabs, which is equivalent to like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe one one blunt. Blunt to the face, yeah. Man. Yeah. Like, real quick. But yeah, weed's important. So um, get good shit <laughs> and uh, <laughs> don't smoke the bullshit, you know? You Spend. Know me? Spend the check on the fire. Get the, get the filet back long. <laughs> the filet. 
the filet of weed and wrap it in minties. Um, and the mint crisps. Fuck, dude. <laughs> but you wanna you wanna move to a segment? <laughs> should should we move to a segment or just keep talking? It's up to you. Uh yeah okay okay. So since we're really high, we're probably gonna need some food after this. What are some spots here, either in LA or like in cities that you visit often? This is our like, top shelf <laughs> segment. When you have to get okay. When you have to get to somewhere. So restaurants. So where that you, you gonna consider? eat when you land or when you get home? Top like, shelf. what's the spot? Um, I definitely when I'm in the stew, I'm hitting that. Crimsies. Crimsies. I'm hitting that Crimsies. Crimsies is top shelf. Man. You know that's. That's that top. We've been repping Crimsies for a while. We're still trying to get their attention. Um, Indeed. We eat there a lot. Um, it's delicious. It's vegan. You wouldn't even know it. Yeah, vegan, the- vegan Cajun food on Victory and Coldwater yeah. Canyon in North Hollywood. Fire. Um, he needs fire. That's yeah. that top of the morning. Yeah. We're at a fire. We're at a fire. We Seeing need some as fire. They already have our business. We just like to, you know, what I'm saying? extend the know. opportunity to just... Send some of them hush puppies through. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hush puppies in the mail. You can freeze those. Um, they don't even gotta be in the mail. Y'all so Crimsies, Crimsies right. when you're in NoHo. What about on the West? Yeah. Is there uh, a spot over there that you know? Versailles. I rock with Versailles. Versailles. Okay. What is that? Versailles is like Cuban. Uh, okay. What's the go-to Louis order? They know what you want as soon as you walk that, in the door. If you need that Versailles, just call that three one zero five five eight three one six eight. They'll hit you off with the nice oxtail, you know, Ooh. a rice bean selection with some Damn. garlic chicken. That's how you know plantains. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Damn! Everybody just got hungry in here. Just you like, know, fuck. just hit them off. We're I told y'all. Food, right? That's three one zero five five eight. Talk three one six eight. Yeah. Who? Versailles. Who? Versailles. <laughs> Versailles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember that treaty? What it was called? Versailles. Talk that. You feel me? It's history. They treat you right over there. Remember that treaty? <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm high. Um, that was a very like Shaw. I think it's I rap. You know what I'm saying? I rap well. Don't let that whatever just happened in the last thirty seconds to <laughs> reflect. You know what I'm saying? My independent career. That was corny. I'm high. <laughs> Shaw, what are you eating? I know. I know. There's what a bakery in mind that you. Uh, yes. You've been eating that oh, a lot. Oh yeah. That's yep. Fine. Yep. 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 Shout them out. So another another Louis. You know what I'm saying? Another Louis. Uh, you put me on to that spot too. My man. The Pillion Bakery. That's that here. Where they have the Oreo Nutella Pon Cheeks. Pon Cheeks? Which is essentially like. <laughs> wow, <laughs> God, this fuck animal bon. got me laughing for. Which is essentially. <laughs> bon. Which is essentially like. Um, this is a hilarious blunt. It's like a it's like a field <laughs> it's like a field That's donut. That. I love it. That's but that, not uh, a donut. It, it's great. That's yeah. That, you know. It's fat. Yeah. Let me go this Fine, way. But it, but it got oil on the tail inside it. Shot, do you want to hit this? Punchy. Damn. We got the tobacco fixings coming in. So the pond cheek, man. Pond cheek. Um, besides food, we consume music. No, nah, what's your. Uh, what's mine? Yeah. Y'all stole mine. You try, you try to duck the they question. They name all the places that are within like a block of my house, so it's like, where am I supposed to eat? Um, if I knew what the name of that donut shop was, I would. It would be them. Um, well, you sort of. That's what I'm saying. You sort of. You sort of. Uh, is it Jolly Donuts? Jolly? I don't even know. Yeah, it's Jolly Donuts. It's next to a 7-Eleven, you know. It's really nice. Hmm. They just started accepting card. So like, <laughs> if you're out of cash, usually I'll just go there, you know, with some quarters and. <laughs> if you in NoHo, hit up Jolly Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, but okay, yeah. Okay, so besides food, I just like to go walk around the neighborhood and like get random food. Like I'll just walk to that bakery or to like. The coffee shop or some shit. Here you guys go. Passing it over here. Um, but yeah, like you know, I cook a lot too, so yeah, you know, I stay healthy. It's a chef over here. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So also in our top show segment, we like to share um, a favorite independent artist in like like a song by an independent artist that you consider to be really fire right now. Um, hmm. I can start. Mine is uh, Firefly, Ray Khalil. Ray Khalil is the D O N. Y'all niggas D O N E. Yeah, it's just fire. Mhm. Yes. Okay. Shout out to Ray Khalil out of 310 Sound. Shout out to Van Ward. 
and the Pawn Studios crew. Yeah. Firefly. That's another one, you know. She might uh, have to get it. It's got like a Sade vibe to it. You know who you are. Firefly. I've been on. uh, Don't sing anymore in 15 seconds. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) All all rights reserved, right? Yep. Facts. (laughs) Facts. Do Um, Do you have an independent artist that you're supporting right now? Man. I'm supporting all the independent artists, man. Everyone. They know. Ooh. Okay. Let's what's in your playlist? See. Like, what's in your playlist? And not necessarily independent or whatever. Like, what's what's like your go-to playlist? What's a couple, couple what tracks? Playing, Get you know, in the vibe. I guess I got... Let me try to think independent. Uh, definitely. We mentioned Ray Wright. Oh yeah, 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 Ray, right. for sure, of course, Ray. Uh, yeah, Ray, you know, you go down that whole scene, Ray, Q, Augustine, mm-hmm. you know, yep. the Brew, you know what I'm saying, yep. Warren Brew, H O V, yeah, month, uh, I guess, long list of people, long list, Levin Kali, you know what I'm saying, yep. uh, uh, <clears throat> let's see. I'm bumping that. I like that JID. Uh, what's the uh, what's the, what's, the, what's oh, the girl's Dream name? Project, what's what? the girl? What's the uh, what's the woman? The artist uh, that has the song "The Sandstorm" with JID. Mm. You know what I'm talking I'm not about? Fa- I'm not familiar, but she's a Dreamville artist. Okay. Start with like an M. Mariba. Okay. Mariba. Oh, oh she's okay. fire. Her. Was she on the Dreamville album? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I haven't really heard much from her. Yeah, I know they have a bunch of other people that are signed that like. Yeah, you gotta check out that song. They grinded, uh, man. Mariba, featuring JID. It's called Sandstorm. That shit is crazy. It's like a R&B, hip hop type shit. It's Hell new. yeah, it's really dope. Got a video too. That's what's up. Yeah, um, I've been fucking with some uh, some Tate Tucker, honestly. Oh yeah, he Tate just dropped an EP. Drive. Shangri-La, Shangri-La, right? Hell Shangri-La, yeah. LA, La. My God. We'll play on words. Mm-hmm. Always. Yeah, Tate. man. Fire, man. Love Tate, man. Yeah. Shout out to Tate Tucker. Breezy's my jam. Shit, the video's fire, too. I'm like, damn, shit's tight. So. Damn. Keeping it in the family. Jamming That's fire, some bro. stuff. But, uh. Louis, shit. Is, there, is there anything that, like, we can expect coming from you in the near future, man? Yeah, we got a EP coming. Soon, and as of now, we could just call it the the Daylight West Los EP. You feel All me? Right. And uh, you got that exclusive Daylight West yeah, Los EP it's, coming. It's, from it's coming. You know what I mean? Very it's, soon. It's coming real soon you know for y'all, and I got some stuff, and then I got uh, some other stuff dropping after that. But yep. we're gonna keep y'all posted. We ain't gonna tell y'all everything. You know what I mean? So y'all just tune in. Keep them guessing. Louis King. It's just a continuation and a maturation of the most beautiful grind. Uh, uh, well said, Shy. You know what I'm saying? You know, well said. Also, uh, let them know where they can find you. Social media, website. Where can they buy your shit? Mm Mm-hmm. You can find my shit. Just search Mm L-O-U-I-S-K-I-N-G. Louis King on everything. Spotify. Apple Music. Title. You know, and then if y'all want to hit me on Instagram or all my social medias, it's Louis King L O U I I K I N G. That's that L O U I I K I N G, Louis King. Yeah, love y'all. Yeah, and I know you be Taste fucking words. with. I know you be fucking with podcasts. Uh, Tell everyone, you know, what the best podcast is. <laughs> The, what the best thing to smoke is I saw the roach going there Hello. <laughs> The whole cherry just dropped in there It's cool It happens Fumble That still counts as You know It's a blooper That still counts as six He's like Yeah <laughs> that was one That's that's another one You know But now real quick Tell him uh, You know what, What's the best podcast To get high with Man you know The Taste Buzz podcast Is the Talk one that. that y'all need to Check yeah. into For y'all needs I know I know y'all get lonely out there So y'all could come Tap in with us and roll up. That's what I'm saying. You know, you get lonely. 
<laughs> if you're at the crib and like you need someone to smoke with, you know, you're sitting there and you're like, fuck, I don't want to watch the same bullshit on Netflix. <laughs> We'd like I'm gonna to tune in. You. I'm going to smoke with the homies and we're yeah. going to, you know, yeah. laugh and get high and take dabs. Hopefully you got some dab rigs at home and uh, shit, some minties, you know. We're going to put you on game. We're going to take care of y'all. Just yeah. relax. We're going to get you saying? fitted up. We're going to get you fitted up yeah. in the new Taste Buzz merch. You might even like find a Minty's wrap just randomly like inside your merch or some shit. Who knows? If you're struggling and you're smoking that ten dollar pack, I understand. I used to be in the same position. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep grinding, like my boy Louis King here. We just gonna end it like this with the tons out. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Yeah.